Welcome in everybody, I'm Joey. We've got some early LMP cars in store today, and it's just memes. You'll see what I mean, it's just memes. But to kick off the first race of the session, we've got the two minute glitch on a race that goes 35 laps. So it's safe to say this one's gonna end a little early. There's more gifts to come on lap two because this guy just can't get enough of my rear end and sends me eating a nice buffet of concrete over there in the wall. I'll fall to like fifth or something. And then like 30 seconds later, the race ends abruptly and I can just go off and fuck myself, I guess. I don't know really what else to do. <laughs> well, well, what I actually did was start up another race. Ironically, this one might as well have ended early because we go into turn one with no one in sight and then we'll skip to the final lap of the race. I ended up being about 20 seconds ahead of second place. So, so far, good racing, a little hard to come by in this early LMP hopper. But the third race ended up being a pretty fun one. So we're at Kailami, first race in the Nissan, and we're starting in 15th. Got a really nice jump and got right around the other Nissan. Taking the dog leg to the right, the Toyota behind was basically doubling my speed, came out of nowhere and scared the shit out of me. Into turn one, we're breaking a little early, so I ran into the guy in front, but the guy behind me did not have enough time to stop. And I've been kicked to the curb along with a couple of other guys, so we're back at the back of the pack. This guy with one of the worst rejoins just did not look around to see where he was going, where he was rejoined, and then just ends up spitting himself out. Probably for the second time. There was some reason that he was out in the sand or grass over there before. Making my way around the long right-hander, sitting right behind this BMW, breaking at that 100 board. He'll go a little deep and I'll slip up the inside. Utilizing that first gear to get the car rotated. We've got a couple of more guys off the track. Another terrible rejoin up front. And now we've got a car sandwich. Nice LMP. Lettuce, mayo, and pickle, I guess. I don't fucking know what I'm saying, but we're heading up the hill. We got one free position out of that. We'll break into that. Well, I think it's safe to say that one part of that sandwich was not fucking happy. So I'll take full advantage of that. Grab a couple of free positions on top of that one that we already got. Here comes another one. Another guy off in the sand. The driving standards are just on another level. We'll skip to lap three. This guy, I think, just gave up. He saw the standards and wanted nothing else to do with it. Maybe lost too many brain cells and just decided, I'm going to bed. Hey, I understand, man. I've been there. We've all been there. Coming through the hairpin, we had a small incident with the guys up front. And then the guy on the outside looked to cut across, slowed the guy on the inside, goose down a little bit. And then he'll come across, almost pushed me off into the grass. At this point, I was a little concerned. You know, he's getting a little touchy-feely. I'm not sure if I'm going to go as far to call him a pervert yet, but, you know, he's definitely uh, getting up in the business. So we'll just keep an eye on him for now, and we'll try to overtake third place and catch back up to him. We might be able to do that into the final turn, slipping up the inside. There we go, onto the podium with seven laps to go. And I was trying to get the move done on second place for a couple of laps. Here's my first attempt through the final corner again, trying to get that run, but the BMW is a little quicker there, so it's not quite gonna work out for me in that time. He'll start pulling away down the straight, even with me in the draft. So it's gonna be hard to get the move done there on those straights. And then next lap, lap five of 10, I'll go ahead and dip into the pits. We're halfway through, get another set of mediums. And when we're coming out, it's going to be 12th place, so quite a few people have not pit yet. That makes me think there are probably a few people on the hard tires, so we'll see how that stacks up on the last couple of laps when we all end up coming back together. But for now, we're stuck back here in 12th, but we'll make that 11th as we come around here. Another guy off deep in the sand. It has only been a couple of days that this hopper's been available, so... Usually, the standards start getting a little better towards the end of the week when people have gotten used to the cars and there was another guy off in the wall. And, you know, people have had a chance to drive the cars a bit and get used to the tracks and get some braking points down and stuff like that. So here, end of lap six, bunch of people going into the pit. So we'll climb up into fifth place. They might have tried to go one extra lap on mediums. I can't imagine they were on hards. They could probably go at least one more lap if they were. So later in the week, again, we'll know the, the meta strategy as well. So we're all just experimenting here. 
through turn one, I'm finally going to get a move done on this guy. There was a little contact, but I think it was clean enough. But then we're getting spun. But after the spin, he did slow down for me. So he's a nice guy. These things happen. We'll just continue on and start from here. Then end of lap seven. Here we go. We caught up the third place. Up the incline. We'll go around Cheetah here in just a second. This is where I noticed that this guy might be dealing with some pretty serious tire wear. And I was surprised he didn't go into the pits. And when I tried to go around the outside, he goes pretty deep and then very wide. And that drags me off the track with him. Now, I'm all grumpy because I'm running out of skill. I've done eight laps without a crash, and we know how rare that is. Pretty damn rare. And I've got to get past both of these guys again. We'll make quick work of that one BMW, though. So we're up in the second place, and now it's a matter of passing the leader. I didn't really need to pass him, though, because he's got two and a quarter seconds worth of penalty time. So it's totally fine if I just kind of sit back and chill in his draft. That would be the safe thing to do, and the gap to third place is increasing. That's at about a second and a half, so it's looking pretty good for me right here. I can just sit behind first place and still get this win, but I'm not going to need to sit behind him. The sand in this one was just deadly. That will do it for this race. Here's us coming around the final corner. That gap got up to six seconds, so we had a nice, comfortable finish and bring home a W for Nissan. It's definitely got the pace to keep up with those BMWs, which seems to be the most popular choice in the class. On paper, it's got the best stats, so that's not too surprising, and there were plenty in this lobby too. So we'll celebrate the win with a Shoei and then hop straight into the next race, which was a little bit of a disaster. So we'll start off by hitting this guy in front of me who didn't accelerate off the start, and of course, I'll get penalized two and a quarter second for that. Thanks to dick face there. Then here's where I mess up. I end up putting this guy a couple of rows deep into the sand. So I'll park the car, kind of put myself in a timeout and just think about what I've done and how I'm gonna do better in the future. That's what my parents would want me to do. So I had that heart to heart with myself, but the Forza Gods didn't feel like that was enough. So here we are, lap nine of nine, final lap. We're going at it with fifth place here. Pin to the curb, we touch and we're through, but up ahead, there's a crash and I don't decide which way to go in time and I just end up smacking straight into the back of this guy. Then I get spanked with that five seconds and the Xbox almost goes flying out the window. Then I cross the line and it was eighth place, but after the penalties take effect, it's gonna be 11. This video has been an emotional roller coaster. We've been up. And now I think we hit the low. Those two guys are spitting each other out in the straight and taking everybody else out behind me. That's always great. So hopefully we're on the way back up. And we're going into turn one. I got ghosted out. I'm gonna tap the guy in front through. The everyone else is dead. I'm up into third place through turn one. Nice. I'll just tell you now, because we're through the pack. Half of this lobby ends up leaving before the end of the race. This was absolutely nuts. I don't know what's going on back there. If nukes were going off, no clue. But we got through it, fortunately, there at turn one. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So here's lap two. Second place carries a bit too much speed off the straight and ends up going off. But he'll end up catching back up. You would expect. His name is LMP123. He must have a bit of experience with these vehicles. I do not. I'm a dirty casual when it comes to these things. So he went around the outside with a really good move, but we're going to have a chance to come back at him down the straight. And I'm thinking I've got a slightly different tune on it, definitely for top speed, because even with the draft, I think we're gaining really quickly on him there. The pass gets done with plenty of time before turn one, but we're going to have an incident. Coming around the corner, we're going to get tapped on the rear end ever so slightly and he's lost control of the car and is in the wall. So we've lost a Ferrari buddy, RIP. And so as a show of respect, it had nothing to do with my shitty driving at all. By the way, I figured I'll drive off the track and hit the wall as well as a show of respect and offering to him, if you will. I definitely didn't just make a huge mistake and drop two spots into fourth. Didn't do that at all. Now I've put myself in a bit of a pickle. I have dropped those two spots and I'll try to make the pass on this other Ferrari 
coming down the straight into the 90 degree left hander breaking nice and late down in the first gear get that rotation out of the car and there we go up into third lap, place lap. after a pit stop and a few lonely laps by myself we start the final lap eight of eight and here's the situation first place is long gone he's 20 seconds up absolutely embarrassing all of us Second place is only two seconds ahead. He's got a little bit more penalty time than I do, about four tenths more. So we've got a chance at catching up to him, and we're already bringing that gap down to about a second and a half. And while we're taking a look at the time gaps on the leaderboard, you can see up there, 10 players left in this lobby. We started with 22, 22, and we're down to 10. That's more than half. Some disgusting acts were committed back there, for sure. Now we've got three turns left in the race. If things stayed as they are now, we'd have second place based on penalty time. But my greedy ass wants to get second place fair and square. We want to make the pass. So I'm trying to put the pressure on as much as I can, getting a ton under braking through the final corner. He goes deep over the grass. That's going to slow his momentum down as we're going up the hill. And now we're side by side, drag racing it to the line. I'm about a car length ahead, and we're going to take it. There's second place. That was a really fun race there. Grabbing eight spots, or moving up eight spots. And have a look at Low Fat Soda in that Bentley. He's putting up a 149.6. That is nuts. Dude just chugged a bunch of Diet Cokes and went out there and set a record. That's, that's pretty awesome. I think that's a good one to call it a video on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do all the stuff that YouTubers tell you to do at the ends of videos. And I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye everybody.